Thank you so much for sticking around. Well, it is hot outside, right? We just heard Tommy say it's 100 degrees. So AC is definitely a necessity, but how do you know if you need an AC replacement? Well, my next guest, Mr. Billy Goodson, owner of Pilot Heating and Cooling, is here to give us some tips. So thank you so much for joining me. You're how welcome. are you today? I'm great. I'm awesome. Great. All right, so tell us, what, what services do you all offer? Well, we do service and installation of residential and commercial, as well as inspections and uh, efficiency testing. Gotcha. Now, you know it's hot, so we all need our AC. So, but how do we know if we need an AC replacement? Well, in most cases, it's pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. um, but I say that the best way to know is to have a certified technician come out and check it. Okay. Um, but you can look at your your bills historically. Of course, you can't look at the last couple of months and compare it to this month, but you could look at last June and this June, and if it's substantially higher, you'll know that there possibly is something okay. going on with it. Gotcha. Now, I think this next question is like a running on debate um, as it relates to like the thermostat temperature. Is there a specific temperature that the thermostat is supposed to be at? I'm not getting in a fight about that, <laughs> but uh, you know, our government recommends 78, but the reason they recommend Jeez. that is because of the utility, the electricity gotcha. usage. Okay. Um, it, I, I get the question all the time, and I, and I tell the customer it's a comfort issue. Mm. Whatever is comfortable to you, if you, if you want to spend the money to run it at the colder temperature, you're going to pay the bill. Yeah. Um, the only thing I would say about that, though, is a lot of people, especially when the weather's like this, when you leave the home, don't cut it off. Some oh. people think they can cut it off and they'll get home from work and cut it on and then in three or four hours it hasn't caught up. Well, mm. it's not going to this time okay. of year. You've got to leave it running. Okay. So what are some miscon misconceptions about HVAC units? Uh, bigger is better is probably the, the biggest one I see. Okay. And, and you'll run into it with uh, customers that have had a, a, a bought a new house and the person that originally owned the house when they replaced the unit, they enlarged it a half a ton, mm. and now the new person wants to enlarge it half a ton, oh. and then you've got a unit that's a ton too big for the house. The problem with that is it doesn't run long enough to remove the moisture, and if the moisture is high level in the house, the humidity's high, at 70 degrees, it's not comfortable. Gotcha. With the jo South Georgia humidity outside, right. you know that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, how many years does an AC last, usually? Uh, I think the last testing I saw, they said an average is 10 to 12 years. Okay, um, okay. So, so that's, that's pretty good lifespan. And most people would never consider owning a car for 10 or 12 years and yeah. not having it serviced. That's true. But people do that with the air conditioners all the time and that's expect true. them to just keep going. And that's why we have you. They really <laughs> take a know. pound in this time of year. So anything you can do to help them out, sure it is good. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. And so what advice could you give us? Um, it, you know, it's hot outside. Mm -hmm. So what advice could you give us as it relates to AC units? Well, number one, don't cut it off. If you need to cut it back a few degrees or cut it up a couple of degrees when you're gone, that's one thing, but do not cut it off. Keep your filters changed. Um, stopped up filters cause a lot of loss of efficiency. Another one that I bring up almost every time I'm asked is if you have yard maintenance done, make sure when they're doing your yard that the unit is not running. Uh -huh. Because if they come by and mow that grass or edge around it with it running, it's gonna suck all that debris right into the unit. Uh -huh. And then when it's 100 degrees outside and that unit can't cool itself off, mm. you're going to have problems. Okay. Well, that's some good advice. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, where can we go ahead and find more information um, about, you know, the advice that you give or if they want to get in contact with you to get their AC replaced? Um, we have a Facebook site, Pilot Heating and Cooling, as well as uh, we have an e uh, a website, pilotheatingair.com. Perfect. And, of course, they can always call us. Um, we've been in business since 1967, and I am always, always love to talk to customers. So. Perfect. Well, thank you, Mr. Billy, for your advice and helping us stay cool because it is scorching out there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I wanted some of that garlic sauce. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to get that after the break. Don't <laughs> yeah. worry. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. We're going to take a quick break. But coming up, the City of Roses is hosting a diesel expo and truck show. Find out what else is happening in our area right after the break. Our community calendar is next, guys. Stick with us.